Hi guys. It is turning into a very strange night here in the end times in Garfield, Texas. I should have gone to the damn picking party. I could be sitting around with my clueless, lovable friends playing music and drinking margaritas instead of sitting here on this damn computer down here in this damn rabbit hole. And, and, and guys, did I mention it? It's Sunday night. Sunday night, March 24th, 2019. And, and guys, I don't even want to... Uh, if I tried to give this whole backstory of what's been going on uh, with our with our uh, probably dearly departed friend Andy Gardner, who, uh, who uh, not feeling good about, uh, you know, who has disappeared from mysteriously from Humpty Dumpty tribe and Collapse Chronicles, I guess about a month ago, uh, Andy the Gardener disappeared, and I'm not even going to go down all of this bizarre story. I'm just going to just give you the Cliff Notes version. So anyway, if you're not familiar with this fellow on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, you need to go check out, look up this guy named Andy Austin, just like Austin, Texas. Uh, anyway, I won't give you the backstory on who Andy Austin is, but Andy Austin uh, is kind of my uh, I, I don't I don't know how to describe Andy Austin. You have to go to his Facebook page and you can check this guy out. Uh, but but he is. I feel like this Andy Austin character has some sort of connection with Andy Gardner. So I'm just going to read you the the note I just posted on Andy Austin's page, and we will see. Hopefully, we will have an answer for this, and then I'm going to get to this real point of this rant. I just want to get this out of the way, and then we're really going to get weird. If you think this is weird, well. Anyway, so this is Hambone to Andy Austin. Andy, what is this weird note from Captain Greta I received saying that they are holding Andy the Gardener hostage in the dungeon below the Magic Castle? She is demanding I trade Sancho Panza for his release or... Andy Gardner will be, quote, alligator bait by morning. I told this Captain Greta I figured Andy the Gardener had died, as I had not heard a word from him over in over a month, but she insists he is not dead, but chained to an old statue of Daffy Duck in the Magic Castle dungeon in Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Should I take this note seriously? Do you think she would notice if I switched Sancho Panza for the Queen's Royal Corgi, you know, to make the trade? Captain Greta always closes I've actually received several of of these threatening notes. Captain Greta always closes with the note, Don't fuck with me, Hambone. I have the NWO, the UN, and the Nobel Peace Prize Committee on my side! Exclamation point. What do you make of this, amigo? So anyway, while I'm waiting for that answer, what I decided to do, if you caught my rambling rant this morning about the, the thin line dividing uh, eco-Nazis from conspiratards, that rambling 42-minute monologue, uh, the pertinent part of that monologue is that I mentioned with this very nice woman that I interviewed for Collapse Chronicles and have regretfully decided not to air the interview. 
During the interview, we were uh, talking about this 5G, you know, this new cell phone technology, this 5G shit. Good God, I, I didn't, you know, whatever happened to 4G? And anyway, so she brings up this 5G cell phone technology as the newest ecological disaster hitting this planet. And uh, she recommended this fellow named uh, Dr. Martin Paul, that's P-A-L-L, -L. and unlike Lulu, who is the woman that I interviewed uh, for Collapse Chronicles that I won't run the interview with because she's, she, she's a wacko, uh, I... This Dr. Martin Paul does have a lot of internet presence. Articles, I think he a book, many articles. There's YouTube interviews uh, with uh, Dr. Paul, and there's all there's all sorts of uh, information about the dangers of 5G. So. I admit, guys, I know nothing about 5G, so I have been spending my Sunday evening trying to educate myself. You know, I'm open-minded about 5G. I'm on the 5G fence. I don't know uh, whether or not it is the biggest, it very well could be the biggest ecological catastrophe. So I am sitting here with my five years of journalism training you know, wading through the information when you Google dangers of 5G and Dr. Martin Paul and whatnot, trying to figure out uh, people, you know, claiming that 5G is going to kill us all, literally going to kill us all, an extinction level event. Are, are they fucking whack jobs, or, or, or is this this Dr. Paul somebody uh, that, that I should be interviewing for Collapse Chronicle? So anyway, I you can go on YouTube and find plenty of interviews with Dr. Martin Paul, P-A-L-L, -L, so I'm not going to, but I, I found this interesting letter that he wrote to the California legislature, this long letter trying to convince them not to allow 5G in the state of California, I think his, his noble attempt literally fell on deaf ears or eyes. But I did, you know, studying this, I, I was particularly taken by one of these health effects that uh, Dr. Paul uh, warning about 5G, that 5, and not even 5G, just any EMF, not even counting this like super uh, EMF, lowers male fertility, including lowered sperm quality and function, and also lowered female fertility. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> bring on the 5G. I want to see a goddamn 5G tower installed on every single rooftop on planet Earth. Uh, 5G. Hallelujah. But of course, what Dr. Paul points out, that what's bad for humans is even worse for other animals, you know, and see, this is the problem with all of this stuff, uh, particularly that that lowers fertility. Uh, if it lowers fertility in humans, it lowers fertility in, in every other earthling we share the planet with. So uh, this is the problem. I mean, we, we have this benefit, uh, and then he winding up the letter, you know, as he's building his case, this is uh, talking about all the DNA damage, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, DNA damage known to be produced by EMFs occur in human sperm and may also occur in human eggs, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, it is thought, this is a direct quote, it is thought, he doesn't say by whom, I guess by Dr. Paul, that an increase in mutation frequency of two and a half to threefold will lead to extinction, meaning will lead to extinction of the human race. It says right here, every legislator in California uh, read this, we may already be over this level, and if so, simply continuing our current exposures will lead to eventual extinction. Again, hallelujah. So what I don't understand is about this woman that I interviewed is that she is, like I am, she is a big fan of human extinction. So I'm assuming that Lulu, uh, this woman I interviewed, I'm guessing uh, that her problem with this is not the fact that it's going to lead to human extinction because she understands that human extinction is, is the best thing for the planet. But she must be talking about the effects of, of this shit on, uh, on all the other earthlings we share the planet with. So anyway, so I, I spent quite a bit of time uh, listening to these interviews with Dr. Paul, and then, you know, and then he would link you over to all of these other scary stories. And then, of course, you know, I, I went to the other side. Uh, and so on the other side of the spectrum, yeah, of course, you're going to have the FDA and the CDC, and, and, and of course, the telecom uh, industry all, and, you know, the FDA and the CDC, who Dr. Paul, you know, call captured, I can't, this captured agencies or something like that, that they have been so taken over uh, by the industries they're supposed to regulate. <coughs> so you have that group. On one end, uh, you know, promising that there is absolutely zero danger from, from this shit, while you've got Dr. Paul and Lulu and, and, and all of the conspirators acting like this will literally lead to human extinction. And then, of course, uh, in the middle of the bell curve, there's thousands and thousands. I, I spent about three hours on this. Uh, there's thousands of... Uh, of, of Google hits on this, and of course, in the middle of the bell curve, you have the mainstream media, which is somewhere in the in, in the middle ground. Uh, that it, you know, the L.A. Times, you know, classic example of this. Uh, no, uh, it, it's basically the LA Times saying it's worse than the FDA says, but not as bad as the conspirators say. And, and this is pretty much my, uh, and kind of another way of saying, although the LA Times didn't quite say it the way I did, it's, it's another way of saying what, you know, my conclusion that I was talking about earlier, that all of this shit, what it is, this technology that they're rolling out, is simply the, the latest ingredient in the toxic stew of global industrial civilization to, to satisfy the demands of the lifestyle and consumer choices and to the clamoring demand for better cell phone service, uh, they are going to roll out this technology while the vast majority of the planet will be cheering it on. 
and it's just one more ingredient in the toxic stew that combined with all of this other shit is going to be an extinction level event for humans and, uh, and every other species of earthling we share this planet with. So anyway, while I'm waiting to hear back from uh, Andy Austin and Captain Greta, you know, and all of this shit, whether um, I need to trade, uh, whether I need to be heading to Orlando, Florida to trade Sancho Panza in a prisoner trade program with Captain Greta in the, in, in the dungeon of the Magic Castle, this came in. I got a, I, I got, I've gotten many comments on, uh, gotten many comments on that rant this morning, and most of uh, in the rants I mentioned 5G, people are saying that, uh, that Lulu's on target about 5G. Uh, and so anyway, we have, uh, Alert Tribes member J, J, F, H, O, W, anyway, sending me, um, Emma, here is an introduction to what 5G is about and some of the dangers. And lo and behold, he sends me this video clip to this 13-minute video, and I strongly encourage you to listen to it. I'm going to play you a couple of clips. And, uh, and who shows up here? but none other than Max Egan. Max, that's I-G-A-N. Max Egan used to be one of my heroes. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to uh, read my response to, uh, to this comment, but we're going to hear from Max Egan himself for a minute here. Uh, what you need tonight, the, the name of the video, it has 106,000 views, 6,000 thumbs up, 120 thumbs down off of an outfit called Press for Truth. Press for Truth came out one month ago today. And uh, the name of, this is a fellow named Dan Dix. You might know that name if you're in the conspiracy rabbit holes. Dan Dix is one of the darlings. I, I guess this is his website, Press for Truth, and the name of his uh, website with 106,000 views and the 6,000 thumbs up is Global 5G Wi-Fi Will Blanket the Earth in a Mosaic of Cells. What you need to know with Max Egan. So uh, anyone not familiar with Max Egan, I'm going to tell you a little bit about We're going to hear from Max, and this is, we're going to play a couple of clips from this 13-minute video. Uh, my old buddy Max Egan is going to explain to us what you need to know about 5G uh, cell phone technology. So what can they do with us with this 5G technology? You know, put suggestions in people, control people's emotions, all sorts of stuff. You know, we're electromagnetic beings when it really comes down to it. Everything we experience, you holding that microphone, you can feel that from an electromagnetic signal that goes to your brain that tells you that's what's going on. Everything you see is decoded electromagnetically. We're essentially energy beings. So if they can manipulate that energy, and then you've even got to look at stuff like quantum computing and all the stuff they're doing. If you, if you consider your body, you being an electrical being and your DNA tuned to a particular frequency that harvests Dan Dix from the, the surrounding field. There's only really one consciousness. We each harvest a frequency of it. Can they create a quantum computer by mapping your DNA and mimic that signal and then harvest your consciousness into a mainframe? Or can they affect your consciousness in the field and seek signals that way? I mean, this is all the stuff that they're experimenting on. It's, it's pretty out there to a lot of people. But as I said, all you've got to do is go and read the DARPA patents, and this is what they're telling you in the mainstream. So what are they not telling us? Yeah, no doubt. Well, I guess that leads to the obvious question. Yeah. I mean, if this yeah. is the case, and it doesn't... Okay, one more quote from from Max, 
telling us about everything you need to know about 5G. One more quote, Max. Well, I don't know how to get Max to talk in this second quote. Ballot. So we need to pull this infrastructure down, we really do. But in order to do that, I mean, we can't just be some violent domestic terrorist. You've got, to, you've got to bring this awareness to the people that these towers are doing them damage. You don't need bandwidth that fast. And they're not doing it so you can download movies quickly. They're doing it so they can track every single thing you do and bring in this social crediting system to control even everything you think. You know, that's what they're doing. So we need to raise public awareness of this and pull this infrastructure down before it gets completed. Well, I'm glad and you there you friends go. because, you know, they, they There together. you go. Thank you, Max. And so we're going we're gonna to read just a couple of comments to what you just heard from the alert viewers of Press for Truth. Um, let's see. Uh, all these people sharing. It's... Uh, Anyone get ringing in their ears? Yes. Uh, this is a nightmare from hell. These people behind this technology are pure evil. Uh, and here we go. This is how they plan to depopulate the earth. All right. This is the tech guy. 90 thumbs up. No thumbs down. Uh, the tech guy, this is how they plan to depopulate the earth. And this poor guy named Cole83 responded, No, it isn't. You are all idiots. Well, that didn't go over well as people started attacking the troll. Here is Victor Angelo. Cole, just kind of curious, is it a personal mission or your profession? I mean, what's going on in your little fluoride pea brain? Do you get paid to shill around and troll, or are you just ass backwards retarded? You wake up in the morning after a clean shaven splash, some aftershave, and you think to yourself, now you're going to troll with the awakening? Dan says, Cole, you are an idiot. And Constance, uh, kind of joining in with me, I guess, on this question. Uh, yeah, along with birth control, abortion, parentheses, infanticide, vaccinations, Geoengineering, fluoride, GMOs, fluoride, etc. And then under there with 144 thumbs up, wow, Max Egan breaks this down really clearly. Thanks. Yes. Here is 5G is a greater threat to all life on Earth than global thermal nuclear war. Here is global warming is not real, but pollution is. Uh, anyway, guys. Yeah, we could go on with these hundreds of comments cheering on Max Egan. Uh, this is the uh, this was my response to J.F. How <clears throat> I cannot believe I left Max Egan out of this rant. You know, from this morning. Max Egan is the poster child of every single thing I am talking about. Max Egan is a great guy. I have spoken with him many times, just never on the record. Whom I truly believe is concerned about the state of the planet, and he solidly understands the big 
picture. Unfortunately, after being a fan of Max Egan's for years and listening to him religiously, it began to dawn on me that Max Egan is one of the single biggest conspirator whack jobs on the internet, leaving Alex Jones and David Icke in the dust. I would vote for Dane Wigington over Max Egan any day in the source credibility department. Let's see. Among other things, Max Egan is a climate change denier. He believes in abiotic oil, that oil continually somehow replenishes itself in the ground. Uh, he believes the Newtown school shooting massacre and the Paris bombings and I think the Boston Marathon bombings never happened and were all a media hoax. He is a major believer in the New World Order depopulation agenda. Blah, blah, blah. If Max Egan is talking trash about 5G, I will gladly install a tower on my roof if the New World Order wants to pay me $100. Thank you for pointing out this video to me, J.F. Howe, so I can sleep better tonight knowing there is one less thing to worry about on the planet. And there you go. And I am just back. There will be no interview with Martin Paul. And, and I still do not know to this minute whether, uh, whether 5G is as the FDA and the CDC and the telecom industry promises us completely 100% safe or as Max Egan and uh, Martin Paul and Lulu uh, insist it is the single biggest ecological catastrophe that will lead to the extinction of the human race and assumedly every other earthling we share the planet with or, and I'm still going to have the same uh, confirmation bias, my bias has been confirmed that this is one more one more, uh, one of these damn uh, little ingredients in the toxic stew. <sighs> one more. But I am going to sleep better tonight. And, but I need to get back over to Facebook to see if I've heard back from Andy Austin about how seriously I should take these weird notes from uh, Captain Greta, backed up by the NWO, the UN, and the Nobel Peace Prize Committee to uh, come do a prisoner exchange trade with Sancho Panza for Andy the Gardener as things really get weird in the Doomosphere. I will keep you posted on how all that turns out. Smoke him if you got him. We all know why. Bye, guys.